Well, one of the toughest things about the morning is waking up groggy because you didn't get a good night's sleep. Many Americans look for ways to help fall asleep and stay asleep with things like marijuana. Now, some scientists say it may not work. Instead, they point to how cannabis indirectly impacts sleeping habits. Here to explain the finding is Dr. Peter Grinspoon, cannabis specialist at Massachusetts General Hospital, as well as an instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School. And he's also the author of Seeing Through the Smoke, a cannabis specialist untangles the truth about marijuana. Dr. Grinspoon, great to have you. Um, so first, we talked a little bit about the fact that some people uh, use marijuana for pain relief and they say that in turn helps them sleep. But would you recommend cannabis as a sleep aid uh, for people who aren't experiencing pain only to get a better night's sleep? Absolutely, I recommend cannabis all the time for patients who are looking to get a good night's sleep. I think it's safer than many of the other pharmaceuticals that we use, such as the Ambien's, the Trazodone's, the Valium's. It doesn't work for everybody. And when we recommend anything for sleep, you know, first we want to get the patient not drinking a ton of coffee and doing something relaxing before bed and getting plenty of exercise. But for those people who need something for sleep, and again, nothing works for anybody, but for millions of Americans, cannabis is a very safe, relatively safer, non-toxic alternative for sleep. So I've had a ton of clinical success uh, with my patients. Again, it doesn't work for everybody, but if people are interested and you live in a legal state where you have medical marijuana, that's 38 states now, you certainly might consider it for sleep because a lot of people find it very, very helpful for sleep. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of that gray area. You say it's safer than some um, over-the-counter or prescription medications. What are some of the concerns with using cannabis to fall asleep? Well, first of all, if you use too much, it doesn't work. You get wide awake. <laughs> so you have to use the right dose. Second of all, it doesn't work for anybody. Third of all, cannabis has its harms like any other medication. It shouldn't be used in pregnant women, in breastfeeding women, in teens. You shouldn't use it before driving. Of course, if you're using it before driving, you're probably not sleeping. So it certainly needs to be used with caution and with care like any other medication. But generally speaking, I think it's uh, safer than many of the alternatives. People forget how dangerous many of our sleeping pills are. So it's not whether cannabis is safe or not safe. It's a question of whether cannabis is safer than whatever else you might be using. And for many people, the answer is yes. All right. Well, it's an interesting conversation, a lot to consider on all sides. Uh, thank you for sharing that information with us, Dr. Grinspoon. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.